hello good morning welcome back to my channel with lupita Aide. today i'm bringing you guys a new video but it's a total different kind of video so um uh, i got this printer um uh, around i think it was black friday or cyber monday i forgot no, I'm lying. I'm lying. I got it the day after Cyber Monday. So I saw it. It was on special and I didn't get it because I already have one. But the next day I needed to print something. And this is the one that I have. I needed to print something and it just didn't print. It didn't. For some reason, it was like frozen or something like that. And I could not turn it off at all. So I couldn't print, I couldn't turn it off. I would disconnect it, turn it back on, and it just didn't work. So I went back online and uh, I saw that this one was still on special. I wanted the white one, but they the white one was more expensive. And like you know, I'm uh, on a budget, so I did want to did not want to spend a lot of money. So I got this one. So I'm gonna be showing you guys um how it looks um and how to set it up or i'm gonna learn how to set it up with you guys kind of thing so let's get right into the video but before that i want to say thank you if you are new to my channel thank you for watching and if you're coming back thank you for coming back as well so let's just get started okay there you go so i got this one because so it says is mobile device printing wireless print impression it makes copies and you can also scan um then you can also wireless print from your computer your tablet your phone your camera and the USB cable, it's not included. So, I did not want a black one because it doesn't match my little area. But that's all I could get. So, I'm just going to put it down there. So, it's like hiding. Can see like almost everything is white so so i'm just gonna remove this i usually don't remove any of the plastic that protects the machines but this time i guess i am okay so here's the scanner Oh, okay. I was like, I broke it. No, I didn't. So it's like, here's where you put the paper. And then... Or here's where you put your paper. Okay, so this is where you put your printing paper. And... So, so if you're gonna print something, make sure that you put the paper facing down. Whatever side you want the print to come on. And then you have to open... You have to open these little blue things to the size of your paper that you're using it's very easy to move around so this is the first time i'm setting up a printer in a long time so bear with me i am not a professional and this is not to teach you guys anything this is just me sharing how I set up my printer. Oops. Okay.
Okay guys, so I was having trouble with this tray. So the tray, you see how it goes all the way in? Perfect, right? And then this has to be here. So I don't know if I'm always going to be having this issue that I am not like it at all. And it's, it's this. So you just press this down. So you just press this down and then close it. It closes all the way. But when you pull the tray, it pulls out. So now I'm going to put it back in. There, and it closes. But at first I was struggling. I couldn't put it back in. So... Whenever you guys pull it out and then bring it back in, if for some reason you guys struggled, it's because of this little thing. So it opens more than, if you need like bigger, more paper, it opens more. So if you want to close it back, it won't close. So just this blue little thing. Press it back down, and it's going to let you close. There you go. See? So I used my thumb to just press it down. So we're learning together, guys. Um, like I said, it's the first time I'm setting up this printer, which I am new to. Okay. So now that I know how that opens and closes, I'm gonna put my paper back in there. I have to... So this is where you put your picture paper, lift it up as high as your paper it is, then you tilt it back so it stays. Because if you, if you pull it just up, it's not gonna stay. So pull it back and tilt it a little bit. You open here and then, let me show you. You have to open these little blue things to where the size of your paper that you want to put in fits. So I'm going to use the one that it, it comes with the printer because I never print out pictures. So we're going to use these for now. Okay. There you go. Okay. Now that we figure out where the paper goes, Let's connect it. Let's put the ink inside. I should have done that before, right? So I'm just removing this orange tape and we're gonna lift up from the side okay so before we put the cartridges we have to turn it on so it says to lift this thing on turn 
it on. And I'm gonna have my laptop ready in case I have to use. So I'm gonna sit down so I can be comfortable. It, it says. Okay, so it says to the feet slot cover of the rear tray may be open. Check that the feet is slot is open. So okay, it's open. Where's the okay? Okay. Ah, I thought it was touch screen. <laughs> okay, so this uh, it says the feet slot cover of the rear tray may be open. Check that the feet slot over cover. It's open. I had to close that, like bring everything down because it was not, it kept telling me like to open it and even though it was already open, I guess I had to bring everything down and now let's, let's see what it says. We want English, so for development and marketing of products that better meet customer need, Canon requests that the information related to your Canon product be sent to Canon in case of... Do you agree to send? Yes. Ah. Okay, so this is where we start putting our cartridges. Okay, so I was having trouble. I guess I was not... I'm using a Mac. So, I went online and I input ij.start.canon. And it brings me to this page. So, now we're going to put setup. And then, we're going to put in our... Printer TS5120 and we're gonna select go and now we have to download the program Okay, so I don't know who said that setting up a, a printer was easy. I have to cancel it, download it again, cancel it, download it again. Um, like, oh my god. So I'm going to press next. Okay, so select the country or region where you're at. Okay, um, it's already where I'm at. Yes, I agree. I guess I have to go all the way down. Sometimes they have like a little checkbox. <sighs> this is taking me like so much time. And again, this is why I didn't want to do it. Check the connection method. Connect the printer to the following wireless router using a wireless connection. What? Bingo. I think I want to start setting up my other one too. My image, go to your system photo, save it on your computer.
we're gonna do a trial not that it's been set up just to see if it's good to go okay so one last thing i'm gonna print out a picture i've never printed out pictures so this is gonna be my first time let me just look for a nice picture so we have to make sure that we put the correct size before we print and i did not so here we go we're gonna do it one more time so make sure four by six Printer, 45, no, not that one, there, 51, okay, photo on photo, now print, okay, so this is what we're going to print, you cannot see it very well, but okay. All right, let's see what happens. So far, I've, I mean, I like the printer. I've been struggling. I have to get the hang of it before I can say I like it or I don't like it. Um, but yeah. Oh, see, so we have to make sure this thing is open. So I lift it up just a little bit and it wants me to literally. Okay. Now it's printing. Okay. So one thing I noticed is that it's not going to let you print if you don't select the kind of paper you put in there, the size of the paper. So you have to be specific um, or else it won't print. Um, I also printed a picture which I didn't record because I was like really struggling and then I paused the recording and I totally forgot to press record. But I'm going to show you guys the picture. But first, let me show you guys what I printed right now. So this is now. I mean, it prints really good. Now, the quality of the color, I, I don't know. Maybe my settings are not good. But this one is supposed to be like bright red and it's not so this is how it came out now let me show you the picture this was the this is the material that comes with the printer when you purchase it I mean the quality on the on the on the picture this is me and my sisters um i really like it don't get me wrong i like it it's a glossy i i couldn't print it because i i i have to set up the printer to where it says four by six glossy paper and i didn't know how so it took me a long time so by the time i did print it i totally forgot to press record but this is it guys if you guys are interested in this printer as for me i mean i bought it already 
I'm gonna work on the setting because I really do not like the on the sticker paper I don't like the color I loved it on the picture but not on this one so I have to work on the settings for this so this is it guys if you guys are interested or if you guys thought on buying this printer I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description box and thank you for watching like always see you guys on my next video bye bye